What's up, guys? Okay, so I'm trying a new product today. This is the Cano Roaches by Zoomed. Um, let me readjust this camera. Yeah, so, yeah. I didn't actually know that um, that Zoomed actually made roaches in a can. So, this is pretty cool. I picked this up from a, from a pet shop recently. So, I just gave him the panther. So, let's see if he likes them. Whoa, okay. Guys, this is actually the first time he's ever actually eaten doobie roaches in his life. Because uh, Panther actually doesn't really... I tried to give him crickets before when he was little. You know, just to give him something to chase around and stuff. And, you know, I tried to give him hornworms. He doesn't respond to anything living. So, I keep like a lot of canned insects around. I keep uh, mealworms, superworms, uh, snails. And this is the first time I've actually ever given him dubia roaches. And he's chomping these things up. I know he looks a little funny right now. He's actually in grayscale because he's still shedding. But he was just acting really hungry today, and he hasn't eaten in three days. So usually when he's in shed, usually I don't feed him. But I was like, all right, like, it's been a little while. It's been almost half a week. He needs to eat something. So I'll try to see if I should, you know, give him, this, give him the can doobie roaches. But, yeah, he's chomping these things down. Babe, he loves these roaches. Oh, my God. I didn't know he would like him this much. Babe, I cracked the can. He was like, ooh, what's that? Yeah, this is really cool. Yeah, so from what I've seen from this product, uh, from when I open them, just like any of the other Zoom Ed cans, um, this one actually didn't come with the little scoop that you get from for uh, um, that you get from the cano snails and the cano mealworms and stuff. But um, I guess probably because the roaches are so big, the roaches are like assorted; they're all different sizes, kind of like what you would find in a typical dewy roach colony. They're not very large. They're like medium-sized roaches. Like, they don't have full-grown ones in there. I don't really see any ones with wings and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. Man, he's tender. He's really liking these things. You know, usually when I feed him, usually I don't give him, uh... Usually I, I, I either try to give him a sink mix with insects and vegetables and stuff and vitamin powder, uh, calcium and all that, you know, like... Depending on what he ate last time, I try to usually give him like at least a mixture. At least 50% vegetables and stuff like that. But I don't really have any vegetables in the house right now. And whenever I try something new, I try to give it to him plain in the beginning. So that way, at least if he doesn't like it, I'm not wasting another food that I mixed with it. And it's not like it all smells like that one thing. So I have to waste like my vegetables or a second protein that I mix with it or anything like that. So it's the first time he's trying doobie roaches and seems to really be enjoying them. What's up, buddy? Baby, you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm watching the video, sorry. Oh, uh, okay, cool. I saw you doing your video, I was watching it. No, that's alright. But yeah. Yeah, guys, Panther is doing really well. It's funny, I just had him in my hands earlier. And he was uh, he was chilling in my hands for like a good 20 minutes. So he's taming out very well. Hasn't had any more respiratory infections, thank God. Um, he's eating good. His poop is coming out nice and solid. His thermoregulating just fine. Hasn't had any issues with dry eyes or anything like that. No issues with his mouth. No issues with his fingers or toes or anything like that. His sheds are coming out perfect. You guys remember when I first got him, if you look at my earlier videos, and you can see it really well with the video uh, that I have where I had all three of my lizards together. I had the two leopard geckos, and they skinked next to each other. Um, and he had all these scratches at the top of his head. But look at that head now. Just shiny and, you know, nice little black markings. It doesn't even look like he was all scratched up like he was when I first got him. Like, he looks really, really nice right now. And I know it's like, 
you know, the lizard looking aesthetically pleasing to me isn't like the most important thing. It is. It can be a sign of health and treatment and different things like that. I'm not saying that, you know, it's not a good indicator of that. But I'm not the type of guy to say, ooh, that's a perfect specimen of a so-and-so because this one has more red in its skin or this one has darker striping and blah, blah, blah and stuff like that. Like, I don't really look at animals just by, you know, like their paint jobs, by what colors they produce naturally. Like, you know, like that's not what I do to judge an animal that I keep in my, I guess you can call reptile collection. But yeah, like, you know, to me, it's just whether or not it's a good pet. And, you know, I took a little risk with Panther because he was a little beat up when I saw him and I felt bad for him. And I was like, okay, he doesn't look like he's like malnutrition are going to die. It just looks like he had a rough way to go. Maybe being with his siblings or something like that. I don't know what caused him to have all those scratches on the top of his head, but you know, he's doing just fine now. And, uh, yeah, I think this guy is uh, doing excellent. Yeah, that, that grayscale looks pretty cool on you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I can tell he likes the roaches because usually if it's like a, a, a food, He'll take a couple bites and then he'll go crawl off somewhere and probably eat it later on after it's like halfway dried out. Whenever he sits by the bowl, he's like, I'm not leaving until I finish this meal. So that's a good sign. And he's doing well. Hey, buddy. I guess he's just trying to swallow him down with such big pieces. Hey, guys, but first time trying the Zoomed uh, Cano Roaches and. I think it's a success. He likes them. Um, he's got a good sized portion there, about two meals for him. Um, <laughs> amazing feeding response. Yeah, no kidding. I literally opened this can and his nose went up in the air. He's never had them before. Let's see. Yeah, it's good. Not a very high fat, fat content, really high in protein. Farm raised doobie roaches. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What's that say? Is that say cockroaches? Farm raised. Wow, cockroaches. Okay, guys. <laughs> so I was wrong. Yeah, these actually aren't dubious. They're cockroaches. Huh. Well, look at that. Okay, well, huh, first time c trying cockroaches. He likes them. Wow. <laughs> That's hilarious. I guess I just assumed they were doobie roaches because doobie roaches is what you usually find in the pet trade for actual food. Usually people don't breed cockroaches because I guess the whole thing about them, uh, you know, infesting your house and stuff like that. Which makes sense. I mean, I would never bring a live cockroach in my house, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, okay. It's the first time he tried cockroaches and he likes them. I wonder why they don't use dubious. I wonder if they make a can of dubious. That'd be cool too, right? Alright, well anyway guys. Yeah, so... First time Panther trying cockroaches. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, he really likes them. It's funny, it says cockroaches right on the, right on the can, but all, all I thought was just... Oh, yeah, can of roaches. Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> and I read the back of my ingredients. I'm like, wait, that says cockroaches. And I look at the front. Big big yellow letters. Cockroaches. Not doobie roaches. Not gonna lie, I feel kind of stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna probably just lay in um, under his back since by here, digest, and then eat the rest of them. Good boy. All right, guys, I will see you later, and uh, have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Later.